Skulls tonight from 11.15, but now on five, here comes some more skullduggery. The group is now six. John, a man they respected, they admired, has been eliminated. For the rest, a night on the island has left them tired, but jubilant. Now, three more challenges lie ahead. Challenges where friendships will be tested. Alliances will be questioned. It's a natural habitat for the mole. The contestants have been away from home for almost two weeks. Today, they've got a treat, a visit from their friends and relatives, but before they get to meet, there's some business to attend to. Well, guys, exciting day today. Later on, we've got some special visitors for you, but for now, we have a challenge for you, and it's worth £5,000 if you succeed. Now, to complete this challenge, you're going to have to split yourself into two teams of three. Please choose those teams now. You have 15 seconds. Excellent. Who's first? Let's go first. Who's the first? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go. Inside the Darth Bunker, formerly used as wartime fortifications, each team will face the same three brain teaser puzzles in turn. To succeed and win £5,000, both teams will have to complete the brain teasers and exit the bunker in a combined time of less than 40 minutes. But they have to work together and take care. Each incorrect guess carries a five-minute time penalty. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... 18. 19. Hold on, take your fingers away, do it 20. yourself. Everybody do. 21. You're taking one, it's that way. 31 I've got. How many have got? 31. Uh, I think, yeah. There's... 31. 31. Yeah. 31. 31. Yeah. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Group one, take just four minutes to crack the first brain teaser. There are eight rungs on a ship's ladder. The lowest is just touching the water. The distance between rungs is exactly 25 centimetres. When will the water reach the second rung if it rises at a rate of one metre an hour? One metre an hour. That's 25. Yeah. There are eight. One metre, three, four. About 2.5 centimetres. It takes quarter of an hour to go 25 centimetres. Yeah. It's got to go up to the second rung. Oh, four, eight. No. Oh, no. no. If it's in the water already, in the, uh, that's floating. There are eight ones on ships. No, no, no. Ignore how many. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter how many runs there are. Because the boat's floating. And if the water, the water's not going to rise. Do you see what I mean? No, because of points. I think it's a trick question. It's either it's trick question. Yeah, well, yeah, it's an hour and a half. Yeah, it's an hour and a half. We're going a half. We're only six minutes. Yeah. Go on. Answer. I don't know. Incorrect. Even with that five-minute penalty, they still have to answer the question. It's never going to reach the second one. It's never going to reach the second one. It's a question. It's floating. It's tight. It's floating. The boat's never going to reach. It's floating with the tide change. It's not fixed yet. Correct. Yes! <laughs> well done, come on! That's the third one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you threw light a second floor. Can you determine which switch operates which light? Each switch on the second floor operates one light in the basement. Three switches, three lights, second floor. Where's the three switches that are on there. We don't have to do it, we just gotta work it out. 
If we start making one trip to the basement, we could go downstairs yeah, to yeah. the door. <laughs> Poke his head down and have a look. Without going downstairs. Without going to the basement. Yeah. So that. So he switches the first one and goes down. But you can't see. Yeah, but is. Turns it off, switches it off. No, but you can't off. see which light it is, though. Yeah. He can't have six his head. Can you determine which switch mm -hmm. operates? Oh, you mean actually be able yeah, to see? Yeah, because it's only just one trip to the basement. Oh, what about um, actually the heat off the balls? Mm -hmm. If you go down. Because without it being on, you'd know which one was turned on, had been on, because it'd been warm. Oh. Oh, but, the, but then the end, yeah, so the switch. Yes, switches one on upstairs, waits two minutes, switches another one on, turns them both off, mm -hmm. goes downstairs, the hottest one is the first one he's turned on, coolest one is the one he hasn't turned on. Yeah. And the third, and the third one, one is the second switch on. Yeah. And then you know yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it turns one on for, say, two, three minutes. It then turns that one off, turns another one on, goes immediately downstairs. The one on is the switch that is turned on. The hottest one is the one that is turned off, and the coolest one is the one he's not touched. Correct? Yes! Despite the five minute penalty, they're out in a time of 19 minutes and 54 seconds. Team two will have to complete the course in under 20 minutes and six seconds. How many triangles are there? Oh, that's all you have. Just check something else. Isn't there? There's loads. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. And there's that one. And yeah. That one. Have we counted that there? Like, we have not. We've done the counting. We have. Here. We have. Like that. Have we? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go twenty nine. Twenty nine. Was it twenty nine? <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't do the middle one there. That's thirty. That's thirty. That's thirty. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Did we not just get thirty? Yeah. <sighs> we better hurry up in the next minute or so. You got twenty nine, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You're happy with twenty nine. We're gonna. We are. Gonna, come on, we're gonna make it to twenty nine. Right, twenty nine. Incorrect. That's one five-minute penalty. Do you want 30? Yeah, I think so. 30. 30. Incorrect. Oh, damn, eh? And now that's ten minutes in penalties, and they yeah. still haven't got an answer. Still triangles. What do you think? That's a three? No, it's a triangle there. I oh, know, but do you think this is where we're supposed to be counting them on here? Unless it's... Correct. Which one? Which one? Correct. Last. Right. 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 We'll try that, try that the lower. team have fallen well behind schedule and now can't even agree on what question two actually means. Are you taking the second rung as from the top or from the bottom? From the bottom. From the bottom. Yeah. That's quite yeah. clear, isn't it? Yeah. Incorrect. That's their third time penalty. It's just touching all that's a little bit above the water. So perhaps it's a bit more than a quarter of an hour. On the ship's ladder. Some of that dimensional thinking, Joe. It could be curved. The ladder might be curved. Is the ladder curved or is it straight? It's straight. The fact that it's on a boat is a clue. Because the boss is going up and down like that. Because so we really reach it at any time. <laughs> oh, the boat's not anchored, it's drifting around. <laughs> It won't, it won't hit the second, because the anchor's down. It's, 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 it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's going to rise with the water. Say it right. Say it right. Hell, I cannot believe that. Say it right. 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 Say might be a clue there. Just... <laughs> I've from the board. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I run down and have a look? Yeah. 
Bizarrely, Joe disappears, looking for the actual set of light bulbs. Right. They're all switched on. You wouldn't make it They're all off at the beginning. Which switch operates which light? Well, one switch operates all the lights. Which switch operates which light? <laughs> I'm getting a feeling we're not, not going to do this job. Well, let's so we can... Hang on, we're getting there. What would you like to volunteer as an answer? If you turn two switches on, the middle one, and either the right or the left, so that you can determine if it's parallel, straight down. Incorrect. Guys, I'm afraid with that incorrect answer, that makes four. You've had 20 minutes in penalties alone. Your time is long gone. I'm afraid you've failed. Let's go and tell the others. Well, guys. Did you have your heads screwed on this morning? Team A completed their challenge, including their penalties, in 19 minutes and 54 seconds. Excellent pace setting, leaving a good opportunity for Team B. Team B completed their challenge, including their penalties, in over 45 minutes on their own. In fact, if we hadn't taken pity on you, you'd still be down there now. Were you genuinely stumped? Or was it that moles thrive underground? The only thing that is certain is you failed. You lost 5,000 pounds. And it's time for us to go. The group have paid a heavy price for a general lack of concentration. They'll have to get their act together fast because they're about to have to fight for their lives. Having lost £5,000 on the brain teasers, the contestants are anxious to see their family and friends. But before that, there's another challenge, and it's time to gamble. Well, guys, your guests are here. Friends or family, one per contestant. I wonder who the moles invited. But before we do anything, we need to play a little game of blackjack. Let's play. Our mole dealer shuffles and then deals the cards. The aim of the game is to get closest to 21, without going bust. The winner of each hand will be given chips that can be cashed in as passes against questions for the computer elimination. The winner of the first hand will get five passes, guaranteeing they will get at least one quarter of the answers in the 20 question elimination correct. The next winner will win four and then three and so on, until finally someone will be left with nothing. Stay. On T. Bit of a delay. <laughs> 20. Congratulations, David. Five free passes. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Well done, David. Enjoy them, David. Should I leave now? Yes, please. Oh, yes. I'd love to stay, guys. <laughs> oh, you check his pocket. <laughs> okay, that's all one. Congratulations, Jan. 19. Bust. 
21. Well done. Two free passes. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, <laughs> for the final free pass, let's play cards. Twenty. Last. Last pass question is yours. Well done, sir. Hello. Hello. <laughs> lucky in love, unlucky in cards. <laughs> unlucky in love, unlucky in cards. <laughs> oh, no. A double whammy. Well, I'm sorry. That means you don't get to play in this afternoon's challenge, and no free pass questions. So I suggest you use this time to think about them all. Now I have to go and find your friends and explain the challenge to them. See you later. Well, David, five free pass questions. Well done. Thank you. But now it's time to put that from your mind. Because we have a challenge for you, and it's worth £5,000 to the team if you succeed. Here on the stage in front of you, you see 12 individuals. Six of them are genuine invited guests, one of whom, naturally, you must recognise. I do. The other six are imposters. Your task is to judge who is who. There are 30 potential right answers, so in the spirit of blackjack, the team must get 21 in total to succeed. The guests are numbered 1 to 6 on the front row and 7 to 12 on the rear. We'll start with Joe. It's a woman. Yeah. And it's her friend. Your number, please. Four. Six. Nine. Um, number six. It's a woman and she's your friend. Number, please. Number nine. Number nine. Including Joe's vote, that makes just two. Secondly, we're looking for a man. He's a friend of size. Number three. <laughs> number one. Number seven. Five. We're looking for a male and he's a friend of yours. That's got to be number five. <laughs> Just two more right answers. Thirdly, a woman, a friend of Sarah's. Number four. Two. Number four. Two. Two? The correct answer, which no one guessed, was number 12. Fourthly, mm -hmm. female, David's partner. Should be able to get this one. Seven. Are you sure? Seven's a man. Seven. Eight. Number eight. Number eight. A woman. Your partner. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I thought you were playing any mini mark for that for a moment. Here they score four. Fifthly, we're looking for a man. This is Jenny's brother. Seven. Seven that was, sorry. Who's the guy at the back left? Number ten. Number one. We're looking for your brother. Ten. Got that one right, brother. <laughs> Jenny's brother is guessed by two. Finally, another man. We're looking for a friend of Ollie's. Number eleven. Eleven. Um, number one. Number one. Male. Friend of yours. Friend of mine. Eleven. Their total, unlucky thirteen. Not enough by far. I'm afraid you failed. You don't get a pass. You need to delve a little deeper if you want to find out which one of you is real and which is fake. 
To our fake guests, thank you. You'd make excellent poker players. As for our real guests, well, why don't you go and thank them yourselves? The rest of the day is yours. Yes. We're on number four. Can I take number four of one? <laughs> Stay there. Had the contestants bothered to talk to one another about their guests, this would have been very easy money. But for whatever reasons, they didn't. Well, that should have been the f easiest five thousand pound we've made on this challenge, but we just—I think we we're just too complacent, really. I, I don't think it was, we were ever able to do that. It was just too difficult. But a good game, interesting game. If Mole could have easily sabotaged it. He could have been fed information as to how a person looks and just picked the complete opposite. It has been mentioned about a couple of the the partners, um, the friends that are here, that they don't really seem suited um, as to whether they're actors and they're dropping clues. Phil thinks very similar to the way I think. So I think he's sort of confirmed a few suspicions that I have had. But he's so alienated from the situation that we're in. It's, it's just, their input has to be taken with a pinch of salt. We should have just spent uh, five minutes just talking to each other about what our friends look like. We never really uh, investigated it properly, actually. So to us it was disappointing because it was such an easy five grand to make. I really don't want to talk about the brain teaser game. <laughs> it was quite an embarrassing experience. The three of us didn't get anything right at all. Absolute nightmare. We all had a nightmare in the brain teaser game. Don't think my brain was there at all. When the ships landed, I was very disappointed with the guys that went in after us. That they didn't get it. I really had every confidence in Jen that she'd kind of get through the brain teasers and suss them out. And I thought that was quite an easy one in the bag. I can't say I enjoyed it particularly. I just found it humiliating that we didn't get any of them first time. We didn't do very well, our team, on that one. <laughs> I don't know, really. I don't know if it's made me more suspicious of somebody or, or not. Whether there was a, a mole working in there, just sort of completely turning things around, don't know. I'd like to see the footage of that to be able to actually tell what happened. How's that? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. I trust you had a pleasant evening, that you spent your time wisely. Because you're going to need a clear head this morning. Sarah, you played no part in our last challenge, and so this morning you have a special role to play. So, if you'd like to step outside now, I'll brief you in a moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> As for the rest of the contestants, please join us in exactly ten minutes. You have a special mission to attempt. Sarah's special role is to be chained up and held captive in an army vehicle. Here's your hostage, ladies and gentlemen. Remember her position. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Well, guys, as you may have guessed, we have a challenge for you. And it's worth £10,000 if you succeed. To win the money, you must negotiate the course in this direction rescue Sarah, and then return her to the finish line. When you cross the finish line, Sarah must be accompanied by at least one of you. If Sarah is killed, you win nothing. If all of you are killed, you win nothing. Is that clear? Well, Sarah, this is your home for the next few hours. Lovely. Make yourself comfy. Yes, but there is a twist. And this is wholly and especially for you. None of your teammates will know about this. Right. Now, uh, we know you're at a bit of a disadvantage for tonight's elimination, given that all of your friends have free pass questions and you have none. Well, this is your <laughs> chance to settle the score. Okay. If you arrive at the finishing line accompanied by at least one teammate, then you will win £10,000. If, however, you arrive at the finishing line alone, you will win a free pass to the next episode. You won't even have to sit tonight's computer elimination at all. You will need to shoot your own teammates to win that free pass. So, it's up to you. Thanks for that, Glenn. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so if you want to step forward one at a time, keep it pointing there. Sarah has the team's guns. On their return journey, they will be able to defend themselves. We did have a discussion the other night uh, with regards to if someone was offered the opportunity to get a free pass through. 
Um, and I said I'd rather do work for the team and I wouldn't be that selfish. Whereas quite a few people said that they would immediately take the opportunity to get free pass free. Nice gentle taps on the trigger. I think Joe would shoot. Joe would shoot. Oh, Rumble. Oh, hey. Oh, oh check this out. Uh, you're on our team. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Good shooting. Did you want to do something? I don't know about David. I think he might shoot. Like so where's he looking? Straight down there? Just basically try and line down, down here. I think Jen might shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Zion. Definitely, he'd shoot. <laughs> he'd kill us all maimers and then <laughs> I don't think Ollie would shoot. I don't think he would. <laughs> okay, you're happy with that. Any questions on the gun? No. What about you? I really don't know what I'm going to do. Judas. Right, guys. These are your snipers. Take a good look. It could be the last time you see them, because now they're going undercover. Good luck. Let's go! On the way up to rescuing Sarah, the unarmed team must avoid the snipers using only speed, guile, and teamwork. Under fire, Zai breaks rank. If the contestants are hit on their blue vest or in the head, they are automatically dead and out of the game. If they are hit anywhere else, that is counted as a wound. They may continue as long as they stop to bandage that wound. Any player playing on without having properly bandaged the wound would lead to everyone being disqualified and the money being lost. And three wounds equals elimination. I'm keeping this one busy, yeah? Coming up, the snipers move in for the kill. The hell is he? He's right behind us. We've got no cover. While the others fight their way towards her, Sara is left contemplating whether she wants to win the money for the team or the free pass to the next episode for herself. We've got no cover. He's right behind me, about 100 yards behind. Zai decides to make a break for it. Keys on. Zai locates the keys to unlock Zara. Meanwhile, the others have been pinned down. Sniper to eight, Yeah? Sniper to eight. Oh. That's a wound. 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 Wound.
wound on David. Ah! Arse wound. Let's go, Anna, a second wound. Oh. Stay at you. Second wound, second wound. Both Jennifer and David have now been hit twice. Listen, what? we should make a move. He's chucked a smoke in at us. He's chucked a smoke. Don't worry, don't can worry, wait, wait. Can you run yeah, with it? Yeah, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. A head wound means Jennifer's out of the game, and with others dying around him, Ollie makes a break. That's Ollie on the move. That's Ollie on the move. Yes. Come on, come on. Get low, get low, get low. Get low. Well done. Well done. Wow. Well done. Well done. You got it? Excellent. I'm out, Joe, I'm out. With David dead, the survivors are now only waiting for Joe. Keep low! Can't hear what you're saying. Oh, you're, you're just yeah. shouting. Right. Don't be jack, Lana! Lana, is that what it sounds like? <laughs> they're on the move, they're moving high to your left! Right, run the move, run the move, run the move, come on. Go on, Joe, come on. Go on, Joe, come on, come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Come on, run! Come Come out. Where have you been hit? One, two. You've not, you've not. You've not. Oh, wait. No, it's safe. Wait. Let's go, guys. Having rescued Sarah, they can now arm themselves. But they still know nothing about Sarah's personal dilemma. We got what they've got now. We got guns. Lots and lots of guns. All right, guys. Again, Zai decides to go it alone. Where is he? Where is he? Ollie, where is he? Where's he shooting? Behind that, behind the crate. I know. Well, you've got to cover me Joe, then, just right? go forward. Joe. Come on. Cover me then. They're not right, exactly ready? operating as a unit. Can't see anyone on Go, 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 go. Fire then. <laughs> go. I'm not fing moving until you fire it. Ollie. I don't know. I think I see him. I'm hit! No, don't wait to me for! Say who's like Let me f in, man. I'm getting aggressive now. With a sniper coming round! Joe's got herself isolated. And now she's dead. Ollie is protecting Sarah, but Zai has disappeared. He's on his own, a full 50 meters ahead of them. Thank 
Jesus, just jump. Hold tight and then go, 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 go. Ollie's out. Ollie's down. Ollie's out. It's on your back of your leg. Ollie's dead, but he refuses to lie down and continues to shout tactics at Zara and Zai. Sarah, move! Move! Go forward! Go forward! Run! Go! Go! Get up! Get up! Zai now has to make his way back to Sarah's position. I haven't got any pants left. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Go. Oh, Jump! Sai, did you feel that shot? See, said it wouldn't hit. This I one. felt it come off. You only just got it right now, mate. No, that's true. I showed Steve it ages ago over here. Sorry. Steve, I showed you that. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't direct here. Sorry. Do you want to explain? Sorry. I'll just show you. What, just now? We... Do you want to explain why you shot him, Sarah? What's going on? What's going on? I shot Sarah. I get through to the next round without completing the thing. Who's the option open available to me? Yeah, she shot Zai to get through Zai. to the next round. Oh, doesn't, matter. doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So easy to They gave me the option. I spent an hour and a half sitting up there mulling about it. What do you mean they gave me the option? If I shot them when we got here, I'd get through to the next round. You just did it? You just shot Zai? We've just lost the game. You shot them to get through the next So you do it to get through the next round and we lose the game? Gosh. Why'd you do that? Yeah, I think so. That. I do not believe that. After all the hard work you put in, she spoils it by shooting me. Guys, I'm they gave me the option. They gave me the option. We'd more than likely do the they same thing. They gave me the option. Right. And I sat, there, I sat there and I went through yeah. what everyone else would do. Just seeing the hill, though. Seeing the hill. I couldn't. Yeah. It's game, though. It's, it's a game. Minutes, it's a game. She's just out to win. Either that or she's the mole. What, what do you call it when I'm... Oh, I can't I'm shot, if I talk you. about it, I will get absolutely <laughs> big time. Okay. <sighs> Don't worry. It's just so disappointing, isn't it? I said I don't have to...
bother liking her anymore nah. and trying to pretend that I do when I don't. It's a nasty. But I don't if they said to me, you've got to shoot me, I'd say, no, no chance. We all work as a team. The person at the end of the day wins the money, wins the money, fair and square. But you don't do this to jeopardise your teammates. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll speak to you at the moment, Sarah. Okay. Today, by far, has been the most hardest day I've ever had to live, I think. I was betrayed. The team was betrayed. Everyone working together, everyone busting their guts, rolling around in nettles, whatever, hurting themselves. I put so much of my heart into it. And in the end, I get shot in the back. In the back! As soon as I did it, I knew it was such a bad mistake. And if I'd known the reaction from the group was going to be so bad and so oh, massive, there's no way in the world I would have ever done it. Everyone's initial reaction was, what the hell did she just do? It, it has caused incredible turmoil through the group. I was swearing. And I, I think I pushed a couple of cameras away, I'm not too sure actually, but when I just sat down and I, I, oh man, I said I was boiling. I was absolutely boiling. If it had been a lad, I'd have cracked him. I basically just found it, I just felt really depressed after it. I don't know, I don't know if he'll be happy if she makes it through the next round and I don't. I'm dreading tomorrow, I'm dreading the next couple of days. I don't know how the group's going to react to me. I feel incredibly sorry that Sarah was put in that situation, but it could have quite easily been me or anybody else. And what we would have done in the situation, I don't think any of us could really say. Everyone just wants to hang in there for themselves. And I think as the numbers get smaller and the money gets larger, it's going to bring up the more ugly side of everybody. We realise now that it's nothing to do with the fact of bonding as a team. It's to do with playing individually. Friendship can go out the window for I can say it now. It's basically me and that money, and whoever gets in my way, you know, that's it really. I was fair in love and war, and it is quite a war, because there is so much at stake. I've been screwed over once, and, you know, if it's my turn to get into the final three, then I'll screw someone else over, no matter my words, I will do it. I feel like a complete traitor to them. I feel like Judas. And sitting in the emulation tonight is going to be very, very hard. <coughs> It's a different style of elimination. All the remaining contestants use their chips earned yesterday to buy off questions. And of course, Sarah's decision to shoot means she misses the questionnaire. I think the mole's definitely been in operation. Um, instead of looking for the big things that happen, I'm looking for the subtle things that happen. I'll hedge my bets as ever, but I'll probably stick with Zai. Well, I feel like I'm going out tonight. I still suspect Zai is... And I'm probably completely wrong. I mean, I don't know, but that's... I still feel that, that perhaps that he's the one. Which means that I'm, I've got the least number of passes out of everybody. So I, I feel like this could be it. Tonight's going to be a difficult one. I'm sitting pretty on um, five questions correct at the moment, which I think will nearly take me through on its own. My suspicions are high, um, and I don't doubt I'll be here tomorrow. It's too obvious that Sarah's going to be the mole. Sarah isn't. I don't believe Sarah's capable. If she was a mole, then yeah, who cares what he or she would do? But Sarah obviously didn't think about what, what it would entail. I don't think anyone believes that Sarah is a mole. But I could be wrong. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Give me a clue, please. Ollie yesterday, David today. And it's still a possibility it could be any one of them. I don't, I don't obviously want to be picked. I don't want to be the one who falls away tonight. Um, I want to make it through and I want to win. Well, guys, an excellent episode for the mole. No money won. But you still have £70,000 in your kitty. Now we must put that behind us. Now one of you must go. The elimination has begun. Sarah has used her free pass. She'll be staying with us. Who wants to go first? Oliver?
Who's next? Joe? Joe, we have to go. See you, Joe. Oh, Joe. Joe. See you. See you, babe. put her all in everything she did and I think with the bridge swing and the skydive yeah. you know she was always very confident at what she was doing hi Mario <laughs> she actually had a use that's on the island because if actually one of the girls did give birth she was actually <laughs> able with an LSSM book to you know talk for it but you always had PME positive mental attitude, attitude. Always, I wish you did. It's been a fantastic experience. It's been fantastic. And every one of us is a winner. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. And hey, I guess Thank your you. daughter's going to be looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I can't wait to see her. I've got, so that's why I've got a big smile on my face. Of course. I do feel like a bit of a traitor sat here, having done what I've done today. Um, so it's very hard, and it would have been hard whoever had gone. We want to put the past behind us, because that's where it belongs. Just look to the future, look to the goals and just uh, operate our best, which I'm sure we're going to do now. With the day almost over, one burning question remains. Would you take a free pass? Yeah, I think I would. <clears throat> yeah. If you'd asked me that lunch time, I'd have said no. Now I realise that we're in it for ourselves. Yep. Yes. Sarah, would you take another free pass? No. Next week on The Mole... The toughest challenges yet. It's a lie! Woo! Tell me. Tell me what I need to know. That's it. Tell me. That's it. Tell me. That's it. And the contestants reach breaking point. It was hard. It was very, very hard. It's David, and he's such a lovely guy, and I could see he was hating every minute of it, with this bloody psycho talking in his ear and telling him to call his bitches and sluts and things. <laughs> You can see all that on Friday at 8. Meanwhile, why not visit channel5.co.uk slash the mole for the chance to win a Land Rover Discovery and other great prizes.